In this brief video, we are going to upload an MP4 video asset to our Pi Signage player and assign that asset to uh, one of the screens in a, in a playlist that we've got. So um, the process is really super simple. First of all, we're going to add the asset into our Pi Signage um, asset library. We'll do that by clicking the upload file. And then we're just going to go to our local machine and find the video that we want to upload. So in this particular clay, excuse me, case, we are working on a um, uh, signage installation for um, uh, medical practice. It's an aesthetics medical practice. And this is a waiting room display that the client is wanting to play in the waiting room for patients. And there's a very specific video that we want to upload. This is just a, a simple like 30 or 40 second um, introduction uh, video clip. Um, that introduces the medical practice as the patients walk in. So we found the video and we'll begin the upload process. And you can see it's it, it's slick and fast. Um, it's like I said, about a 40 second video and the upload is complete within a, a couple seconds. We'll assign a category to this later. We'll get into that. Um, if there is any conversion that needs to be done, your Pi signage player, whether you're doing the hosted version or you have your own installation, will convert it into mp4 for you and there you can see we've got it and click and test and just play it and now it's it's not playing from our local machine it's playing from our pi signage asset library and it looks pretty good so once we've got it added to our asset library we can go into the playlist and we can actually now assign it to this particular playlist and literally it's a excuse me it's a drag and drop process at that point so we're in the right playlist, the Transformations TV. We're literally going to drag that asset and drop it um, into our playlist. And you can see 41 seconds. And um, if you want to switch the order around, it's literally just drag and drop as well. It couldn't get any easier. Go ahead and click Done. And that's a wrap. You have just assigned a playlist, uh, a video to your uh, digital signage playlist. In this brief video, we are going to add a YouTube video from our YouTube playlist to our digital signage player uh, for display on our uh, public facing smart TV through the Pi signage system. So we've got our, our playlist menu on the side here. Um, we've selected our transformation TV playlist and um, it's going to play in a, a, a single zone display that's the setting, and as you can see, we do not have any assets assigned right now. Just going to change that by clicking the Add button, and then you can see there's different ways you can add files. You can upload, add messages, but we're going to select Add a Link and a Stream from Internet Link, and in this section, in this pop-up window, you can add a file name, a file type, and the link address. So the video that we're going to take is from our YouTube playlist. It's a Kybella video. This project is for a uh, medical aesthetics practice. We're just going to copy the public URL to our YouTube playlist or to this particular video in the playlist. And we're going to bring that back and, well, actually, before we paste it, let's go ahead and tell it what type of link it is. It's, a, um, it's going to be a live streaming or YouTube link. We'll go ahead and put the name in of it. We know it's a Kybella commercial. And then we'll just go ahead and paste the, the YouTube link uh, into our Pi signage option and click save. And there you can see the video is uh, in the process of being uh, imported from YouTube. Now, the next thing is we need to assign that asset to transformation. So there was no, nothing in that playlist right now. We just basically drag, dragged and dropped um, that Kybella video over. Um, it defaulted to 10 seconds, but we know, or I know, it's a one minute video clip. So we uh, change it to 60 seconds and hit save. And then when we click on the transformation playlist, now you can see it's got that one minute Kybella commercial for 60 seconds assigned to it in the assets. And that's it. You just assigned an external 
YouTube video to your smart TV based digital signage display. In this brief video, we are going to import an external URL for display in our smart TV digital signage display. And we'll head into the assets menu and click the add menu. It gives us the different types of uh, formats that we can add. We just click add an external link and it allows us to define the file type even more. In this case, we're going to select um, a web page so it supports cross-origin links. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna head out to um, a different server that we've got uh, kind of a cool HTML slider on. And this is gonna be a welcome screen for a, a, medical, uh, a medical practice. Pediatrics medical practice, perhaps. <laughs> anyway, all we need to do is copy the URL from the uh, uh, from the other server and paste it. And just for purposes of staying organized and being able to retrieve it uh, easier later, uh, we'll just give it a name that, that matches it just for cross-reference so we know it's called GFest Slider. And we'll save that. And then as you can see, the GFest Slider now, which is uh, an external web link, is showing up as an asset in our playlist. Well, it's not showing up in our playlist yet, but it's showing up in our asset library where you need to assign that asset. So that's what we'll do from the playlist. So we'll hit assign asset and then literally uh, from the asset library, you just drag and drop. And as you can see, we've got our GFest slider here and you can change the order in which it appears on the smart TV screen in the, this is going to be in a medical waiting room, just drag and drop, hit done. And that's it. You just assigned an external URL to, uh, to your smart TV digital signage display, in this case, in a medical waiting room.